What's up, Excel nerds? Today we have a video on VLOOKUP. This is going to be a short video just to introduce you to VLOOKUP if you're new to it. There's a ton of ways to use this function, but at its most basic level, you're looking up a value and you're returning another value based on the criteria you put into the function. So here we have a set of data from a, let's call it a hardware store. We have an invoice number. We have the number of items bought for that invoice. We have the amount of the invoice in dollars, and we have the store number that the invoice was generated from. And here we're creating a simple lookup function that will take the invoice number and then tell us the amount that that invoice was for. So right here we can see that uh, invoice number 1002 had an amount of 75. Let's change it to 1059, and we can see our amount changes right there. Let's format that to be dollars. So let's delete that and let's construct the, uh, the VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP is short for vertical lookup, and that's because we're using the number of columns in our data array to actually find the value we're searching for. There's actually a function called HLOOKUP, which is horizontal, and there's also a lookup function, but those will be talked about in a future video. So in our VLOOKUP function, the first thing we're going to do is input the value that we're looking for, which in this case is the invoice number, and it's the value in the leftmost column. The next thing we're going to do is select our data array. Then input the column index number, which is just the column in our data array that contains the amount that we want. So in our case, it's column C, which is the third column. So we'll enter C, I mean, sorry, three. And the range lookup, we'll put the value false, which means we want an exact match. We don't want invoice number 1025, 1031. We want that exact invoice number to input into that box. Press enter and we get 232. Let's change this a couple times and make sure it's working. And we're all set. So here we built our first VLOOKUP function. We're looking up the invoice number and returning the amount of that invoice.